Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new Idol Huntress video. Today is going to be a Takanaka showcase. I already six-starred her way back when, when she first showed up, because this is a re-roll, or uh, a rerun, and uh, so I didn't do any rolling. If you want to check out that video, that is down below, and you'll get to see me six-star her, which was kind of expensive, but, I mean, is what it is. She is a very, very important character, which we will get into. I'll start the video if you don't know this is going to be a dub over my footage from my phone because i'm on ios and therefore uh sadly i can't do an emulator so when i do these videos i record it on my phone and then put it to my computer and we do a little dub we do a dub with my with my little avatar cool as you can see yeah i did not roll for her she's ready six stars so no point in me rolling unless i wanted the reward re the rewards but i'm not that <laughs> rich so we did not do that here we can see her skills, or my stats that I have on her. You need speed, 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 though. I'll talk about that in a bit. And then, so I'm going to show off her skins, and we'll talk about, oh, uh, these are her skills. Very, very important. You need to build Take fast so that she gets the shield off very quickly, as well as she can start slamming people into the ground and get those early stuns. Very essential. Yes, so I will read off the Discord. Okay. So this comes from the unofficial Discord. This is a consensus from the community and what we believe about her. So Takanaka is possibly the best character in the game thanks to the shield that she grants every turn. At E30, her shield, HP, and DPS increase dramatically. She is viable for every single content, PvP, Dragon Attack, Engraving, Story, you name it. She'll carry you through it. The only downside is that she's required in the plus formation to cover everyone with her shield, which can be exploited quite easily. Her shield only is attached to people adjacent to her so that's why you need the plus formation and she goes right in the dead center you can put her in any formation you want to but to min max her shield you gotta put her in the center of the plus because her hp and the shield will the more shield she has on, on her allies the more is given back to her and therefore kind of like a positive feedback with right for newbies this is a must pull you absolutely need to get her no questions asked if you can afford to you can afford to, I tell you. Um, you're going to get her at least at level one. Uh, you can get one of her, right? But if you have money or we're saving to like go ham on a character, this is the one. Uh, Chiyome is the next one. But definitely for starters, this is the one you need because she is the keystone for any win team. And so you can see here, this is my win team. I have Mina, uh, Minyamoto. Yeah, I can't say that. And uh, you can see, you could sub her out for Donkey, but don't. Uh, Minyamoto is, is going to be more min-max and player, early player, free-to-play player, free-to-play player friendly. And then I have Helen, because Helen is going to be a nice uh, fire Honda counter in uh, this content. So you can uh, put Hotel on there, which a lot of people do to have a nice like solid all win team you can do that but a lot of people in the higher content have hondas and you need that helen to remove the burn snacks as soon as possible so your team isn't perma stunned for the rest of the match like here so as i explain her skills we'll be getting you'll be seeing some nice cool content in the background and i sound effects on this time so you can hear a little bit more First off, her first skill is Power of Nature. This provides a shield equal to 100% of her attack to herself and adjacent allies. Level 2 increases the shield to 150% 50, uh, of attack, and level 3 increases to 200% of attack. Right? Uh, the second skill, which is uh, Sentimentalist. Right? Fling one enemy from the column to, uh, with the fewest targets into the air, then smash them into position uh, in the column with the most targets with a 40% chance to stun targets for two turns. Now, stun's great. I can't do anything. Fantastic. Just like Honda, right? And then the chance to stun increases to 70% on level 2, and then 100% at level 3. Now, Vertical Torment, her third skill. 50% chance to use an additional active skill at the start of each turn. Whenever an enemy is sent flying, pursue and attack all targets sent flying by flinging them into the air and smashing them back down to the ground, dealing 100% of attack in magic damage to them as well and adjacent targets. The chance to use this active skill increases 75% and magic damage increases to 200% of attack at level 2 and then the skill chance increases to 100% and then magic damage increases to 300%. Now this is why you want to get it a 4 star if you can. Uh, that 300% that uh, chance, absolutely insane and then the 300% attack is actually, actually broken. Tonka's shield is scaling off of her attack so you really want to focus 
giving her more attack through runes, through the badge, through whatever means, equipment, right? The higher attack, the beefier that shield is, and the longer your team will last, especially if your team is, is weaker and not as not all six stars yet. This is going to go hand in hand with her exclusive equipment, and we'll show that off in a bit. Her fourth skill, her like her stat skill, is uh, Battle Intuition. Takanake has a keen intuition of the battlefield and can promptly detect enemies' weaknesses before dealing them a heavy blow, increasing hit by 3% and crit by 3%. Level 2, 4%, 4%, level 3, 5%, 5%. So this is great. Her EE is Balance Tactics, and then at level 1, it does damage reduction 3%, level 2, 20% attack, and then level 3, 25% HP, which is pretty good. But here's the nitty gritty. At level 4, which is the E30, essentially, like the Discord was saying, at 8%, 8% of your total of your side's total shield is converted into additional attack for Takanake, up to 500% of her attack. Then it goes to 12%, then it goes to 20%, all capped at 500%. So this is where you get that positive feedback loop, right? This is absolutely insane. The more shield that she puts on her teammates, the more attack she'll get, and then the more attack she gets, the more shield she puts on her teammates, and so forth, right? But once again, it only caps up to 500%, but that's as long as she's alive. That wraps it up for her skills, but overall, I mean, she's uh, a must. Once again, do not, do not invest into this game if you cannot afford to. Three star, pretty good in my opinion. Four star gets you that extra, extra, extra push, but obviously six star is gonna be your like your your bread and butter. But that's six hundred dollars. Like, <laughs> don't do it if you can't afford it. Please, I, I I don't recommend you invest in this game if if <laughs> if you don't plan to absolutely go ham because it's not it's not worth it. But it's fun to collect. Go for it. Do your eighty rolls and go about your day. A lot of people in the comments are asking about pity. Pity, it will not reset. If you see that 80 on that counter, it is only 80 for that banner. Even if it's a rerun, it gets reset every time. So you want to roll only when you have enough scrolls slash crystals to get the 80 rolls, or you can get the 200 rolls so you can get that extra pity uh, shard for that character. Also, you want to get that one extra ticket for the Chance Plus Plus in the store for 180 crystals. Get that every day and that'll save you a ton in the long run. So in these game comps, this is just Arena, and so I have Chiyome, which you'll see more content of her in the next video. But she's on here just to do a lot of damage, but it's really nice because it's going to help Takanake stack her shield. Because whenever Chiyome's clone gets moved or she gets disposed or displaced, the shield's on Chiyome like you see here, but whenever Chiyome gets attacked, you know, she swaps positions with the clone, and that clone then gets another shield. So then that helps Takanake with her thing. So, the synergy that you can see here is that whenever Takanake uh, or Octavius or Da Vinci sends somebody up, sends somebody flying, as soon as they come back down, Takanake's third skill, I think it's third skill, yes, third skill, it deals a lot of damage when they come back down and when they hit, when they hit, when they land back down. That's essential. This clip, I do apologize, it kind of gets laggy, but this is uh, really fun. So I put Kasumi on this team because she also has a, a uh, send flying and we get to see that that go down because my Kasumi is a little weaker than hers, but the rest of my team is actually cracked. So nothing to worry about here. But yeah, if you can afford to get her, she is absolutely broken for uh, early on players late game she gets pretty she can get countered here and there if you have a, if you have copernicus but not to worry yeah sorry about these afks but the footage here is still pretty good uh see and show just lay the field but take's shield is just cracked and when she slams the target they're they're already done right if they're any bit weaker than you we have kasumi missing because it's a minimoto but yeah we have a couple more fights that about sums it up she's fantastic great character uh let's see yeah if you three star her then that's all right you can get her ee30 and that's that's where she really power spikes and then she gets that that feedback loop with her with her with her shield you could put her on any team. I see a lot of people put the uh, do the forwards T and put her in the center. And so then you have uh, you have the first row all with shield with Take, and then some people also add a Michael right behind her for some reason. Not too optimal, but hey, that's double double shield, right? 
Very, very cracked. Oh, and I did forget to mention, she is... Take is, is fantastic against Chiyome teams because uh, since Chiyome is dodging a whole lot, whenever she picks somebody up, she can either pick up Chiyome and Chiyome can't dodge that, or she picks up Chiyome clone or any other teammate, slams her right next to a Chiyome and kills her, right? And then you don't have to deal with her <laughs> because Chiyome is dodging everything. So that's uh, that's another extra, extra tidbit. But for sure, you saw that the slam talk out, took out that other uh, Take shield, boom. Yep, slammed again because Da Vinci threw her up, and then the Taka's third skill procced, and then Chiyome just cleans the board. Not a problem, not a problem. Alright, so here we have, uh, I think, yeah, this is a good comp. So we have my Honda team against his wind team. We have my water team, my freeze team against his freeze team, even though his freeze team's better. I'm all right because I have initiative and I freeze his team quicker, but we'll get into that. So this is Take versus a flame team. Fire teams absolutely destroy wind teams. So keep that in mind. That's why I have Helen on my team. As you can see, my Honda just absolutely cooked all of them, stunned them all. Octavius couldn't do anything. Take couldn't do anything. So, and then Honda just absolutely cleaned the line because it was a plus formation. Here's a, a quick and a fun one. Uh, you will see it in the next video too, because I think I fight this guy again, but his Kath absolutely should have dominated my Catherine because she's got 220 or 40 levels on top of me. However, because you're attacking, I, you get initiative and my Kath can get a can get a solid round one freeze. And then she only just cleans up the rest. And if I can get that cat, yep, I got his cat. So then we're good. And then we just clean up the rest. However, I think... Let's see what happens. So everyone's nice and frozen which is the benefit of a freeze team. And I'll talk about that in the next video <laughs> with uh, the Chimya Sokish because she's coming out next. She's coming out tomorrow. So that'll be nice for new players as well. Ooh, let's go, Mike. Chimya stayed alive just barely, just barely. And we get the second freeze and down goes his team. We get the Zen, we get the Zen down and clones get chopped up. Kath gets a couple misses, but it's okay. We get the Zen G, we get the double proc, and then there we go. That's a that's his water team. That should have killed my team. Absolutely cooked because I got the early freeze. So here we go. We got my wind team going against a weird Honda fire team. Yeah, really weird hybrid team. So we get the nice Da Vinci knockup. Kake gets the nice hit on the third skill. We get Honda to Realm proc, but then my Helen saves my team's ass because she she cleansed the first flame, keeping them alive one more time. Taki just gets a nice triple kill. We get Octavius just absolutely destroying these turtles. Poor guys. Didn't see it coming. Um, Enyamoto is trying to do some damage to the Honda, but she's just too tanky. That Honda actually doing a ton of damage to my center line because it's a force formation and wide open. Can we kill her? Da Vinci with the layup, Octavius with the slash and burn, and we get her. And that's about it. So I hope y'all enjoyed, guys. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll try to answer any questions down below. And yeah, I'll catch y'all next time. And take care.